My new guitar is made of carbon fiber and has a touchscreen. That's something that I never thought I would ever say. Stick around to find out more. Hi folks, how's it going? My name's Lee Townsend and today on my YouTube channel, I've got a new guitar and I'm really excited to show this thing to you actually. It is a mind-blowing piece of technology. So this is the latest model from a company called Lava Music. This is the Lava Me 3 guitar. I've only had this for about two days, but I've had a weekend full of gigs, so I've not had a chance to really see what this thing can do. So today's video is going to be an overview and sort of first thoughts video. Now, full disclosure before I go any further, Lava Music have sent me this guitar for free so that I show you guys what I think about it and give you my thoughts and things like that. So do with that information what you will, but I haven't been told what to say about it. So if there's anything that I dislike, I will tell you because I'm not going to be dishonest to you guys. It wouldn't be fair. So the first thing that we notice about it is this rather nice case that it comes with. It's kind of like a hard and soft case with leather straps and it's got shoulder straps on the back so you can wear it like a rucksack. Um, I really like this. It's a lot more premium feeling than the gig bags that a lot of guitars come with as stock. So let's get the thing open and see what's inside. So the first thing you'll see, look at that. Look at it. It is the most unusual looking guitar that I've ever played or owned. And apart from its striking looks, the most notable thing about it is the fact that the construction is made entirely of carbon fiber. There's no wood in the construction of this guitar, which is great for changing temperatures and humidity. For those of you who don't know, I live in Spain and my guitars go from a car in 35 plus degrees Celsius of heat to an air-conditioned room on a daily basis, so much so that the finish has actually started to crack and blemish in places because it just, the wood can't take the differences in temperature. This thing should withstand all of that stuff and you won't get sort of changes in tuning and like, like warping of the neck and stuff. Obviously, as I said, I've only had this guitar for about two days, so I don't know how true that is, what I've just said, but um, it's got to be better than a wooden construction guitar. Let's get the thing out of the case and have a look what comes with it. So I've gone for the blue version and it's the 36 inch model, this one. They make a 36 and a 38, but I thought it kind of looks quite travel guitar-y and with its uh, carbon fiber construction, I thought I'd go with the most compact version so that I can travel with it and stuff and take it with me if I go anywhere. So in the box, I've got this rather nice leather strap with these quick release things. I think this is a really quirky design. So they're kind of like locking ends. The strap actually is sold separately. So you'll have to pay extra if you want that. I'm not sure off the top of my head how much it is, but I'll put it here. This is how much it retails at. Uh, Lava Music very kindly sent that to me for free as well. So included with the guitar is a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, which obviously is to charge the thing up. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it comes with a couple of extra tuners in case these break, I guess, or I don't know really. And a tool to remove the tuners and fit the new ones. And you also get this rather nice display case with three branded picks. I don't know if you can see that on there. Nope, I don't think you'd be able to see that because it's not focused, but they are branded with the Lava Music logo in a little display case. Uh, so I have to say, these picks for my personal liking are a little bit thick. I prefer a thinner pick than these, but kudos to Lava Music. I like these little details, really, really nice. And let's get to the guitar. Oh, also, by the way, it comes with some sort of pamphlets. Pamphlets? Do people say that anymore? Uh, I've put them in this pocket of the case here. It's got a, a pocket that's easily big enough to fit A4 paper for anybody that still uses paper in 2022. So yeah, here's the guitar. I really like the styling of it. Uh, it's very unusual, as I said, but I think it's a gorgeous looking thing. And I was quite surprised actually at how heavy it is. It's not heavy by any stretch of the imagination, but with it being carbon fiber, I expected it to weigh nothing. But um, it's got 
a really, really nice weight to it. And another thing that kind of surprised me was how good this thing sounds acoustically. I sort of imagined, I don't know why I imagined it to sound quite tinny uh, when played acoustically, but... It's a really, really nice sounding guitar, straight out of the box, acoustically. But the one of the main tricks that this thing's got up its sleeve is it's got a touch screen. You heard that correctly, ladies and gentlemen. It's got a touch screen. I never thought I'd say that about a guitar. So I'm going to turn this thing on and show you what it can do using the button that's just inside the sound hole here, which turns this guitar on. Look at that. It's got a screen. It's got a touch screen. It is absolutely the most bonkers thing ever. So where there would normally be controls and things on a guitar and a tuner and stuff, they've added a touch screen to this. So once it boots up, I'll show you some of the things that this guitar can do. And it is craziness. Believe me, it's craziness. So on the home screen there, let me just check that you can see that, yeah. On the home screen, we've got a tuner and we've got the BPM and time signature there. I'll get to that in a bit. And we've got these effects templates. So if we swipe up, we get the home screen, the sort of app screen. And I'm told that Lava will be updating this operating system. This operating system is called High Lava. And they'll be able to add new apps to it in the future. So we'll jump into the tuner app just so that I can show you that. So you pluck a string. That is slightly flat, so. And it tells you when it's perfectly in. That one's in. That one's in. That one's in. Make sure you can still see it. That one's slightly flat still. in and that one's in look how cool is that so swipe up to get out of there swipe up and hold to sort of see the apps that are open and then you can flick them up like that kind of like you would with a, a smartphone so the main trick I'll, I'll say the main trick it's got a lot of tricks up its sleeve this thing but one of the main tricks that it's got is its ability to add effects without plugging the guitar in. So I'm playing this completely acoustically and the reason that I've got this microphone set up here today instead of out of sight like I usually do is to show you what this thing can do. So if I tap effects there, so we've got these effects and if I just scroll down to a sort of normal-ish one, so a chorus for example, this is the guitar completely acoustically. And then I press the chorus. This is crazy. That is absolutely, it's out of this world, honestly. I've played this a couple of times and it still gets me every time I do it. Let's um, flick over, let me make sure you can see that again. Flick over to the templates. I've actually added a reverb in here and turned the settings up because if you add the effects into the templates, you can then go deeper and adjust things like the decay, the mix, the low cut and the high cut of the reverb. Um, so let me just discard those changes. I've got this reverb set to on now, listen to this. That's no effects added into my laptop, just completely acoustically dry sound. I'm gonna grab one of these picks just to demonstrate the delay, just cause it's easier. So flip the delay on and go into this live mode here. And I've got this delay set to a dotted eighth note. So if I tap a BPM in, tap a tempo in one, two, so that's roughly 110 beats per minute and then play some arpeggios 
Sorry about the shoddy playing, but how amazing is that? Straight out of the guitar. So you can be sat in a bar or on the beach and add delay to your guitar without the need to plug the thing in. I just think this whole thing, this whole idea is, it's blown me away. I've sort of seen a handful of other videos on this guitar while I was waiting for this to be delivered. And I was like, nah, it can't be, but... It's just amazing, amazing piece of technology. So also on here, we've got a recorder. So if anybody is a budding songwriter out there, likes to record their own music, and they use a dictaphone to record ideas into, for example, let's play just some chords. and then hit stop on there. Just turn that down a touch. You've got your song ideas saved in your guitar. That is, again, bonkers. I think that is one of the best additions to a guitar ever to be able to just hit record on your guitar without having to have your phone or whatever on you. So they've got that. They've got a looper built in, which I've not really messed with yet. So I'm going to do a dedicated video on that because a looper for this channel? Yes, please. Definitely, definitely want to have a mess with that. And let me just make sure you can still see this. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. There is a practice section which has chord transition so you can exercise your accuracy and speed it's got strumming so you can um, get consistent and accurate with your strumming and stuff scale training that's something that I'll use for sure because my knowledge of sort of music theory and scales is terrible for the amount of time that I've been playing I've been playing guitar for over 20 years but scales and stuff I know roughly where I can play, but I'll definitely be using that to improve my uh, scales and stuff. You've got ear training and single notes. So for beginners, well, not even beginners, as I said, I'm a professional musician. I earn my money from playing music and even I'll use this practice section. So that's amazing as well. Let's get rid of those. And also we have, you can store music in here as well. I've not really looked into this, as I said, You've got updates as well, so you can check that you've got the latest version of High Lava. Checking for updates. This is the first guitar I've ever owned, by the way, that I've had to connect to my Wi-Fi at home. Uh, and the, the initial setup's really, really easy as well. So you can see there, High Lava is up to date. So I can get rid of that. I've got settings here. So you've got your account settings. Uh, my account is called Townsend, by the way. You can... Follow me on the Lava app if ever you get one of these guitars. Um, and you can share things. So I can share my ideas and my loops and stuff with the Lava community. So it's kind of like its own social network in a way that you can connect up to this. Um, so I'll go into more detail, as I said, on incoming videos and stuff. Um, so you've got sounds, so you can adjust the master volume, the media volume the guitar volume, you've got an EQ for when it's, when the guitar's plugged in, so you can adjust your EQ and stuff like that, which is amazing, you've got acoustic boost as well, so free boost is a kind of boost that you've got within the guitar, and you've got mixing mode as well, so the pickup system in this is kind of like the Fishman Rare Earth Blend, where you've got a microphone and a pickup, the difference obviously is the pickup in this guitar is under the bridge not in the sound hole because there's not a conventional sound hole in this guitar but you can blend sort of full-on pickup or full-on microphone 
or somewhere in between, which I think is a really cool addition as well to this guitar. So, yeah, if you do pick one of these up, make sure that you follow me on the Lava Music app as well. So with regards to the guitar itself, ignoring the technology that's in it, I'll switch that off, by the way. Pressing and holding the button gives you the option to slide power off and it plays you a little tune. With regards to the guitar itself, ignoring the technology, with it being a carbon fibre construction, there's no truss rod in the neck, so you can't adjust the truss rod. So the way that you adjust the action on this thing is by taking this bridge piece out, obviously take the strings off, take the bridge piece out, and you can sand it down with really, really fine sandpaper, which I think I will be doing because the action is slightly high for my liking. Obviously, they had to leave it high because some people prefer higher action and you can only sand down, you can't sand up. So it's the best way they could do it. it the action isn't bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's definitely playable, absolutely. <laughs> Really playable. I just would prefer it a little bit lower than it is. So I'll do that on a video when I get round to doing it so that I can show you guys how it's done. But that's pretty much all for my initial thoughts on this guitar. I am very, very happy to recommend it on first impressions. I just think it plays really nicely. As I said, acoustically it sounds... It sounds lovely, it really does, and it plays really nicely as well. And I'm even using a pick that I'm not used to. I'm using one of the picks that comes with the guitar, which is way thicker than what I'd normally use. But yeah, I've rambled enough for a first initial impressions video. So if you've got anything useful whatsoever out of this video, please make sure that you're subscribed by clicking the subscribe link below. And make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get alerts when I upload new videos. Also, if you've liked the video, hit the thumbs up button below. And if you've got any questions or comments of any kind or requests or anything like that, feel free to use the comment section below this video. If you're interested in picking one of these guitars up, I've left a link below so that you can find out where to buy one. Uh, and that's pretty much all. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.